Installing shower fixtures, that's our next project on the At Home channel at buildopedia.com. Installing fixtures in a shower is something that anybody with basic how-to skills can do. Hi, I'm Jeff Wilson, and we are getting closer to the end of our custom bath installation. Today, we're going to install a supply elbow, uh, a hose, a shower head, and the valve trim cover here in our shower. The important thing to remember is you want to install the pieces to the wall and make sure that water can't get behind the pieces into the wall structure itself. Okay, so let's get started. Some of the tools you'll need for this job, a tape measure, a china marker, a couple of screwdrivers, some channel lock pliers, a pipe wrench, some pipe tape, and a drill with a masonry or tile bit. First thing we'll do is install the supply elbow. We're gonna use a little bit of pipe tape around here, maybe five or six wraps around. Wherever you have threaded connections, it's good to use some pipe tape. Okay, this supply elbow has a an O-ring inside, an escutcheon, and then uh, this is a foam seal. This will just thread on. I'm gonna hand tighten it, and then when I get it to there, I can tighten it using a pipe wrench. And to protect our fixture, I'm gonna use a rag between the pipe wrench and the fixture. Next, we're gonna install this arm that holds up the shower head. Now, this could really go anywhere. It just depends on, well, the size of your shower head, how tall your ceilings are, and how tall the people who are going to be showering are. So that really depends. We've chosen a height right about here, and we want to center it on this wall between where the glass doors will go and that wall. So uh, let me check that out. I mean, 16 is the center. And then uh, this will mount right there, and we'll hold up our shower head. This piece actually comes apart, and we'll mount this bracket first. Next, we'll install the hose, and it comes with a couple of rubber gaskets. This gasket goes on the angled shower inside, and this one has a little aerator in it, a little filter, and that'll go on the shower head side. We're gonna carefully wrench tighten these. I'll start by finger tightening, and we'll finish off by wrench tightening just a little bit. Again, if you use a rag, you'll keep from marring the finish. And the shower head. Slip my gasket in. The key is to make it tight, but not so tight that it distorts the connection. There we go. Okay, last step is to install the trim over the valve. Now when the valve was installed, it was installed with these plastic pieces here that protected the valve from all the finish work, uh, whether it's tile or sheetrock or whatever. That plastic part will come out and we'll install the finish pieces. Now according to the manufacturer's direction, they do want a bead of silicone on this part of the gasket. Even though there's a foam gasket there, it slides on. I install the backing plate with two long screws and touch up the sealant around the gasket. Next, I'll install the stem adapter on the end of the valve and slide on the face plate. Finally, fit the handle onto the threads and hand tighten. This will securely hold the face plate to the wall. All right, well that'll about do it. You wanna check your connections for leaks and you're good to go. Looks like I can get cleaned up after my day's do-it-yourself projects. I'm Jeff Wilson. Thanks for joining me and come back often for more how-to tips on the At Home channel at buildopedia.com.